Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to show a quick kind of demo of what I'm going to try and accomplish in this tutorial. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I've been using Ambulight uh, or lights behind my TV for quite a while for movies and stuff like that. I just recently installed something called the Philips Hue set um, and I installed a, installed a LED light strip. I don't know if you'll be able to see that behind the TV. Uh, I bought a package. Um, I'll get into greater detail in the description on, on what you need, but I wanted to kind of show you what you can kind of accomplish with uh, the Cody Hue add-on for Cody. It's kind of a kind of a neat thing that might uh, get your interest. So I'm just going to show you. This is there's two modes to it. One's called Ambilight and one's called Theater. So the first one is Ambilight, uh, and it kind of matches the color of what's on screen. So I'm just going to start a movie here. I won't play it too long because I don't know with the legality of all crap. So as you can see, it kind of matches color. I'll just let it uh, start and you'll see. So that's ambilight mode. I'll show you theater mode here in two seconds. All right, guys. So here's theater mode. Um, I've set the color to blue behind my TV. Um, I've actually installed some of them in my bar lighting. So I'm going to show you kind of from a distance what theater mode does. So it more or less, uh, it's like a theater. You know, when you turn your movie on, it's going to, the lights are slowly going to fade out. So I'm going to just show you really quickly. So I started a movie. and the lights fade out and there's our movie. Now the current version of the app I'm running is 0.7 I believe so as I turn it back on the lights come back on and they fade in as well and you can set the time delay you can make it quick you can make it a little bit longer I think I got it about seven seconds so um, the current anyway the current version of the app I'm at is 0.7 uh, it's, not, it's not an app, or sorry, it's not a plugin that uh, is being really actively maintained. Uh, the guy's just doing it as a side project, but as you can see, it works, and it works pretty good. Uh, but the newer version there is a 0 0.8 beta out right now as of this video, and it does offer a little more features. So I believe you can get uh, Ambilight behind the TV where it matches the color on the screen, and you can also set it up so... When you turn that on, you have Ambilight, but it also would fade out these bar lights. All right, so I'm going to show you how to install this in Kodi. All right, now that you've kind of seen what these Philips Hue lights can do with Kodi, uh, I wanted to quickly run through how to install it into the actual program. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you've followed any of my videos before, you've probably done it before, so it's, it's really easy. Uh, I just wanted to give a rundown on everything. Uh, the way I found it, um, you basically just Google Philips Hue and then Cody, and this page should come up a GitHub repository from Michael R. Carroll. Uh, right now, the current version is 0 0.72, I believe, and you can get that by visiting this page and just downloading the zip. So right-click on that and hit Save Link As. Make sure you save it somewhere in a folder where you remember. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, but as you'll see, if you scroll down and read uh, do the readme. There's kind of a what he suggests. Um, there is a beta release out right now, the 0 0.8 version. I've downloaded it. I tried it on my other Cody box in my living room where I did the demonstration and I got a script error so I just stuck with 0 0.7 for now. Um, the add-on isn't being actively developed. He is doing it when he has time. Um, but it works so I mean I can't complain too much. No one should. It's free. Um, but the only other thing you'll need is the Kodi add-on script module request zip file. So scroll down a little bit where he talks about the installation. And you should see this link right here. So what we want to do is open that. And same thing. All you got to do is just right-click on download zip. Hit save link as or save as whatever, uh, whatever you're on in terms of uh, what software you're using. 
So once you once you've done that, uh, basically we're ready to go. Again, I mean you can you can try the beta release right here. Uh, and to do that, you just open the releases link here. He's got open, and you'll see the source code that you just download. Same thing. But uh, once you've had to have those two zip files, you're basically ready to go. Now. If you haven't used the Philips Hue setup before, I suggest uh, just getting familiar with it, maybe buying a, a light. You have to have the Philips Hue hub for this to work, for any of the lights to work for that matter. So you've got to have that first and foremost. Um, but you know, if you do it, install a light, install a light somewhere and just basically all you do is you plug, you screw a light in and you hit the button on the hub and it should pick it up automatically. That's basically all we're doing with this Cody setup as well. Uh, but let's get started. I'll just show you real quickly in Cody. So all we want to do, same thing as any other time we do, is we just go to System. Um, you can click Enter on that. And we scroll down to Add-ons. And what we want to do is install from zip file. And this is going to be different no matter what uh, system or what system you're using. I'm on a MacBook, so I'm simply just going to go to Home folder. Uh, you just got to remember where you saved it. Again, if you're using a Fire TV, you can follow my video tutorial on how to use ES File Explorer for something like this. It works great. Uh, but I put it in the Downloads folder in a Kodi folder. So I'm going to install, you see I've got the beta version right there. But I'm going to install the script module request first. I don't think it matters. You'll see it's request add-on enabled. Uh, once that's done, just do it again. You go to Home folder. And we'll scroll down to Downloads and Cody and the Ambilight Master. That's the one I'm going to use. You can try the beta, like I say. It didn't work for me, so for this video, I'm just going to use this one. And you should see now that it's been enabled in the bottom right there. So. The next thing you want to do is, I had I couldn't find this, this isn't in your traditional places like in the programs menu or the program add-ons menu, etc. Um, you go back into here and just go to my add-ons. Uh, and if you've gone back to the home screen again, you just go to system and then add-ons and you should be brought back to my add-ons. So we want to go into the services folder. And you'll see here Cody Phillips Hue is enabled. So just hit enter to open that. We want to configure it. And now all we really need to do first and foremost is to hit start automatic configuration. So oddly enough, I was having problem with I was having problems getting this going. I was I was doing a video and I had to delete it and start over. But uh, what you want to do, maybe I'll do that right now, or I'll just see if this works. But if you have problems, uh, close your Cody, close Cody down and restart it and try it again. So I'm just going to try it right now. It says bridge discovery is starting, bridge discovery found. So now it asks you to push the button. So I'm just going to push it on my hub, which I did. And now it's connected. So now my this Kodi installation is connected. So it should work. Now from here, there's two modes essentially that I had shown you earlier in the video. The first one was Ambilight, which kind of responds to what the color is on the screen. Um, it's it works pretty good considering but there are moments where sometimes you get an odd flash of color that doesn't match what you see so uh, some people like it some people might find it a nuisance but uh, I've been using it with you know pretty good success so we'll go through the ambulate first so just put it on ambulate and then down here we've got lights now you can't really use a large group of lights because it slows it down I guess too much I haven't tried it because I only have three lights anyway so I typically just provide a single light I've got an LED strip lighting on the back of my TV which is all I really wanted anyway so I mean again you can fool around with this stuff but uh, I've just got it set to a single light um, and then the light bulb ID so the light bulb ID you're gonna have to find that in the Philips Hue app that you'll download onto your smartphone uh, and it's really not that hard to find. You just have to, uh, in the menu section of the app, there should be something that says scenes and then there should be one that says lights. So if you go into lights, uh, it should provide a list numbered one through whatever, however many you have, of how many lights you have. So if you've only got three lights, there'll be one, two, and three. So basically, 
the one, two, and three is your ID. So the first light you install is going to be one. Uh, in my case, the strip lighting was the fourth one. So I'm just going to change that to four. Oop. Change that to four. Hit done. And you're set. Um, as far as the rest of these settings, uh, disable for short movies. If you've got like a couple, you know, 60 second movies, it makes no sense to fire up the Hue app and all this stuff. So you can disable that. I've uh, disabled this. I'm not entirely sure what it does. I haven't, I just did it anyways. Uh, in the advanced settings uh, for Ambilight, for Ambilight, I didn't do too much. I just, came down here and I changed the maximum brightness to 100 and I actually did 36 color for accuracy uh, it seemed to work better for me but again you know you might have to play around with this now debug logging if, if you really want to help out the developer and you're having problems you you know if you're familiar with doing debugging in Kodi you can add the uh, enable this and send him stuff or upload it uh, but that's essentially it for Ambulate. You just click OK. Now for theater mode, uh, basically all we're going to do is go, you know, on bridge configuration. We just change the mode to theater. Uh, from here, you can use whatever you want. Uh, I've got it, again, I've only got three lights that would really utilize this. So I just put a group of lights. Uh, the group ID 0 means it uses all the lights. So if you've got, a, you know, eight lights, in your room you're watching movies and you want to dim them all just choose zero otherwise you're gonna to have to create a group ID and enter it in uh, again and I disabled both these and then the only other thing really was in the advanced settings you can turn the dim brightness if you don't want the lights off entirely you can obviously change that so you just adjust the slider with this I have them turn off uh, the dim on dim transition time is the one you really want to pay attention to so um, as the lights fade out, you know, you can set the duration here. I typically had mine at about six or seven seconds, uh, just cause you know, 0.5 seconds was too fast. Uh, and the only other thing was I got rid of override hue colors. Uh, I can't entirely remember, but what was happening, I think when the lights came back on is with this option, you know, you can change the dimmed color uh, and you gotta play. I, I don't know. I just didn't want to really get too involved with all that stuff because finding what the color was was going to be a pain in the butt for me. So I just got rid of override hue colors. I leave mine at either a dark green or a dark blue or, you know, a traditional uh, like a white color and have the lights fade in and out if I'm using that. Um, and that's about it. So once you're done that, just hit OK. And I would restart Cody one more time and then fire it up and see if it works. And if it doesn't, um, make sure you're not getting any errors or whatnot. But uh, it took me a couple tries to get it going. I didn't realize that I needed to shut down Cody and restart when I made a change. So keep that in mind. If you have any problems or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.